Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Genesis chapters 3 and 4 from the Old Testament Now the serpent was more shrewd than any of the wild animals that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Is it really true that God said you must not eat from any tree of the orchard? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit from the trees of the orchard, but concerning the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the orchard, God said, You must not eat from it, and you must not touch it, or else you will die. The serpent said to the woman, Surely you will not die, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will open, and you will be like divine beings who know good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree produced fruit that was good for food, was attractive to the eye, and was desirable for making one wise, she took some of its fruit and ate it. She also gave some of it to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them opened, and they knew they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the orchard at the breezy time of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the orchard. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? The man replied, I heard you moving about in the orchard, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And the Lord God said, Who told you you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman whom you gave me? She gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. So the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman replied, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all of the wild beasts and all of the living creatures of the field. On your belly you will crawl and dust you will eat all the days of your life. And I will put hostility between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. Her offspring will attack your head, and you will attack her offspring's heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your labor pains. With pain you will give birth to children, You will want to control your husband, but he will dominate you. But to Adam he said, Because you obeyed your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground thanks to you. In painful toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, but you will eat the grain of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat food until you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you will return. The man named his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments from skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord God said, Now that the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, he must not be allowed to stretch out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God expelled him from the orchard in Eden to cultivate the ground from which he had been taken. When he drove the man out, he placed on the eastern side of the orchard in Eden angelic sentries who used the flame of a whirling sword to guard the way to the tree of life. Now the man had marital relations with his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. Then she said, I have created a man just as the Lord did. Then she gave birth to his brother Abel. Abel took care of the flocks while Cain cultivated the ground. 
At the designated time, Cain brought some of the fruit of the ground for an offering to the Lord. But Abel brought some of his firstborn of his flock, even the fattest of them. And the Lord was pleased with Abel and his offering, but with Cain and his offering he was not pleased. So Cain became very angry and his expression was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? And why is your expression downcast? Is it not true that if you do what is right, you will be fine? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at the door. It desires to dominate you, but you must subdue it. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? And he replied, I don't know. Am I my brother's guardian? But the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying out to me from the ground. So now you are banished from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you try to cultivate the ground, it will no longer yield its best for you. You will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. Then Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to endure. Look, you are driving me off the land today, and I must hide from your presence. I will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. Whoever finds me will kill me. But the Lord said to him, All right then. If anyone kills Cain, Cain will be avenged seven times as much. Then the Lord put a special mark on Cain so that no one who found him would strike him down. So Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and lived in the land of Nod east of Eden. Cain had marital relations with his wife and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Cain was building a city and he named the city after his son, Enoch. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irad was the father of Mehujiel. Mehujiel was the father of Methusiel. Methusiel was the father of Lamech. Lamech took two wives for himself. The name of the first was Ada, and the name of the second was Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal. He was the first of those who live in tents and keep livestock. The name of his brother was Jubal. He was the first of all who play the harp and the flute. Now Zillah also gave birth to Tubal Cain, who heated metal and shaped all kinds of tools made of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal Cain was Naamah. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, listen to me. You wives of Lamech, hear my words. I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for hurting me. If Cain is to be avenged seven times as much, then Lamech seventy-seven times. And Adam had marital relations with his wife again, and she gave birth to a son. She named him Seth, saying, God has given me another child in place of Abel, because Cain killed him. And a son was also born to Seth, whom he named Enosh. At that time, people began to worship the Lord. God, thank you so much for your words today. You know, in chapter 4, verse 7, where you say, Is it not true that if you do what is right, you will be fine? But if you do not what is right. Sin is crouching at the door. It desires to dominate you, but you must subdue it. God, we're going to walk out today into a world where we are going to be attacked. Sin is going to be at every opportunity we look. Uh, it is in our world, in our billboards, in our songs, and on our TV, and the books we read, and everywhere there's an opportunity for sin, but you also give us an opportunity to follow you and follow what you want us to do, to do what is right. 
God, help us today that sin doesn't dominate our lives. The, the strength that you give us, the strength that comes from you will overcome anything else that tries to dominate us, that tries to create a expression of downcast in our life as it did for Cain. God, you promise us, you promise to give us strength in those times and we just ask today that we're reaching out for that strength. You know, there's people listening right now that feel like they don't even have anywhere to turn. Not only is sin all around them, but there's probably huge blockades of, of opportunities that they can't even see. God, I just ask that you are that shining light in their life today that even though they feel like they have nowhere to turn and no opportunity to make the right choice, that you will show them, you will show them that path. That you are that light and that darkness to them that you are that opportunity to change their life today. God, I just ask that you be that light in their heart. That you allow that past to become brighter and bigger and, and more bold for them. And that they rely on your strength to carry them through. That they rely on your love for us to carry them through whatever it is that they're going through. God, we will not let anything subdue us today, not with your strength providing a way, a path for us today. God, we just love you so much. Thank you. In your name we pray. Amen.